Welcome back Data Sharks. Often you will have to run scoop commands with same redundant parameters such as connect, username, password, etc. If there are any redundant parameters in your scoop process, then you can copy them into a text file and store it on the disk. Such file is called an option file in scoopsword. The option file has a template that looks like as shown here. It starts with the command which is import and then the parameter name which is connect followed by the value in the new line. So as you see here username password they all are having values on the next line not in the same line. Hopefully in future releases they might make them hopefully in future releases hopefully in future releases this might be even improved. Using option file makes scoop commands easy to read, easy to write, and same parameters can be used across various different scoop commands. Let's try this now, okay? So we'll open the terminal and let's create a file called scoop options. And here we can write import, connect, and the value was JDBC, MySQL, so exactly the same uh, exactly the same connect string that you were using in your uh, commands so exactly the same string that you were using in your commands username will be root and password will be Hadoop now, uh, if you are using, and now save this by clicking escape. Now save this by pressing escape on your screen and W. Now save this by pressing escape, shift colon WQ if you are using VI editor. Now you have this file created. You can use this to invoke your scoop command now. So let's import one of the table. So remember, we already So now let's run a scoop command to test this out. And since we are using scoop options file, we don't need to specify import command here. We'll just say scoop slash and in next line we can say option file the path of the file followed by the name of the file slash okay so which table we want to import let's import employees and uh, our target directory on SDFS will be uh, scoop employees OPS and uh, driver maybe driver also we can put in there com mysql dot jdbc dot driver now enter so as you see we are not using scoop import and we are not using the parameters like connect username and password it's in the file it's also good for security purposes you can save this file uh, in in a location where only certain users can access it and uh, your developer can just invoke that uh, file for their scoop commands. So in real production, you might be using this kind of setup. So as you see that uh, scoop is running, it's almost or it's done now. It's done now. So it has 1000 records, same as we imported earlier. And uh, we can run, we can quickly check on scoop uh, directory employees OPS and um, here you go so you have four different files created each from one mapper all right so try this out and uh, let me know if you have any questions i'll see you in the next class thank you